Ah, respectable porn. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Shame. Right through the very heart of it. New York, New York. To think if the porn industry made a greater effort with its storylines and paid for better talent in front of and behind the camera, they could also make a film in the running for an Oscar. This points to an interesting trend in Hollywood as indie films have to push the edge of the envelope more and more to stand out from the crowd. Last year's Black Swan featured highly suggestive dialogue and a racy scene between Mila Kunis and Natalie Portman, who won the Oscar for Best Actress. In fact, it was reported last year that three of the five nominees for Best Actress had received oral sex on screen for their nominated roles. When young women get their acceptance letter to Juilliard or get on that bus to go to Hollywood, is this the end result they're dreaming of? And let's remember that Hollywood's biggest paid and most memorable actors never did this kind of stuff or stopped when they got the big bucks or reached A-list status. Does that mean lower rung actors are literally pimping themselves out to try and forward their careers? And if so, are directors looking to make a name for themselves as well, taking advantage of said actors? But then again, Michael Fassbender is an altogether different case. He's already one of Hollywood's fastest rising stars, breaking onto the scene with Inglorious Bastards, then landing roles in Jane Eyre, X-Men First Class, and the upcoming Prometheus. However, Fassbender is an actor, and a part of him seems determined to fight against his impending movie star status. Thus, roles in the psychosexual drama A Dangerous Method and Shame, which has earned an NC-17 rating here in the States. Shame is directed and co-written by the man who in a way discovered Fassbender with the film Hunger, Steve McQueen. No, this one. And while this guy can't help that he was actually born with the name Steve McQueen, another Michael Douglas had the professional respect to change his name to Michael Keaton. Speaking of Michael Douglas, Fassbender certainly seems like the newer model. But remember, Fassbender, while Basic Instinct itself was a big win for Douglas, he never quite recovered in terms of reputation and box office. So while Fox Searchlight feels Shame's NC-17 rating is a badge of honor, how will audiences feel? Let's go find out. So this will be an interesting experiment. We're out here at the Landmark Theater down in the village, and we're going to see if anyone will talk to us after seeing an NC-17 movie. Shame. Shame. How was it? Shame, for lack of a better word, um, was very intense. It was pretty wild. I didn't expect anything quite like that. It was very interesting. Right before the movie, I found out it was actually NC-17. Yes. So it. Uh, Did it give you any pause to go and see it? Uh, well, it didn't. It didn't really deter me. It just sort of made me more interested because really all that it inferred was that it was going to be graphic and it earned the rating definitely. It did? Yes, okay, it did. so they didn't make a mistake. No, 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 no. Yeah, some of the images I was like, oh wow, it's just on the other side of the line of um, well, porn, you know, yeah. yeah. Well, that's interesting. What would you say to someone who goes, well, how is this any different than porn? What would you say to that person? Um, there's a storyline. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think a porn producer would tell you they try to put a story in there. Well, tell me this. Did you think that the graphicness of the movie was warranted, or is it just one of those ploys for an Oscar? Uh, I, I, I think uh, it, 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 it was beyond belief. I mean, they just did it every time they could. There were certain things that surprised me yeah. because, uh, you know, it is a feature film. Yes. So it was it was graphically shocking, but I don't know, I wasn't I wasn't offended at any point given the subject matter and the character, so it was completely within reason. Did this win you over to, to be sympathetic for sex addiction or you don't think that's a real problem? What do you think? Uh I'm not too uh, sympathetic to it. Yeah. <laughs> I was also thinking about like male characters and how a lot of times they're just very flat. Mm -hmm. Um his character was very, very complex and very oh, really? uh, three-dimensional. Essentially, it's it's a part of his character. I mean, part of the complexity of uh, Brendan or Brandon, I th mm -hmm. think his name was, uh, was that you know he's unable to have meaningful relationships with people, and sort of the only way that he connects is sexually. I have a tendency of gravitating towards films or cinema that. Um, you know, has New York City as the backdrop, so that was one of the um, things that appealed me to this film. Um, 
Are you gonna think twice when you ride the subway now? Are you gonna? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've never <laughs> had one of those experiences. <laughs> well, I think I've had like the little eye contact, yeah. and then it's like, oh well, you know. But um, yeah, that was that was quite interesting. I was like, gosh, I've never seen anyone like him on the whole different side. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> what do you think of Fassbender's performance? Some people say he's gonna get nominated for an Oscar. How do you feel? I, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, he definitely gives a, a very good performance, and he did what was uh, sort of demanded of him in the role. What amazed me is uh, I saw this movie, Dangerous Method, yes. and it's the same actor, and it's like two different people. What did you think of Steve McQueen's directing? I mean, he's, he's been on the fringes of indie film for a while. He's, right. you know, he's making well, his first I, big play. This is this is the first film that I've seen by McQueen. Yeah. I mean, I knew of him from Hunger, but I, I, I haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. I'll definitely check it out now. I've seen Hunger. Oh, you did? So I did Which is the Hunger. better film? Is he progressive? I, 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 he's definitely progressed as, okay. as a director. He's definitely progressed as a director. Um, it was just funny because you know, you hear the name Steve McQueen, and of I course know. you like... How do you like, feel about that? I kind of feel you should maybe change it. <laughs> like Steve you know? McQueen, Stephen M. McQueen. Yeah. For mainstream audiences mm -hmm. who, who don't go to a lot of films like this and might be afraid of the NC-17 rating, yeah. is this something they should see? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I'd recommend it to my friends because it's... Shame? You would recommend yeah, shame? Yeah, because it's kind of weird, you know? <laughs> what do you give the movie on a 1 to 10? One to ten. Um, I would say eight and a half, nine. I'll definitely give it uh, an eight. I'd give it about an eight. So Michael Fassbender took all his clothes off and he still didn't get a ten. His audiences give shame on eight. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from the Landmark Theater here in the East Village and I hope we'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.